Hi, this is Paul Tannehill. We're going to be talking in this screencast about how to collaborate from within Google Documents with other people with documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm logged in in two different browsers as two different IDs. One as myself and one as Joe. And I'll be indicating which ID we're looking at as we progress through the presentation. Let's go ahead and click into Joe's Google Docs account and we'll see that it's empty. We'll click into my Google Docs account and it's far from empty. We're going to be working on a document called Fake Doc. Now there are a couple of different ways you can get into the sharing interface within Google Docs. One way is to put a check mark next to the document I want to share going into the More Actions drop-down and I could click on Manage Sharing. Usually though I find myself already within a document and then realizing I need to share it. So I'll click into the document and here it comes open in a separate browser tab you might notice. And you'll see that this document obviously needs some work. I can click on the Share button over on the right down to Share with Others. And I'll see that this document is not shared. So I could click on the Choose from Contacts link. I could start typing in my friend's name over here. Or more likely, I just, just click within this text box and start typing in his name. And yeah, that's the guy right there. And I usually keep all these boxes unchecked. Collaborators may invite others. I own the document, so I want to control who, who gets access to it and who doesn't. I usually uncheck this box also. And I just click the Invite Collaborators button. Now I could at this point type in a message to Joe. Hey Joe, this is the document we talked about, etc, etc, etc. And he'll then get an email that he can click right into his Google Docs account to access the document. Or if I want to forgo that, I could just say skip sending invitation. And in a moment, there it is. You'll see that I'm sharing with Joe Schmeckatelli. Okay, we'll go back to the editing window. Let's check out Joe and see if he's received this yet. Logged in as Joe here, and sure enough, there it is. Let's go ahead and go into the document and make some minor changes. Just do some minor editing here. There's a lot of misspellings, it looks like, in here to me. Yeah, that looks good to me. I'll go ahead and save this here. You'll also see down at the bottom, also editing now, Paul Tannehill. Well, let's see what Paul Tannehill says here. Logged in as Paul now, also editing as Joe Schmuckatelli, and you see the changes right in front of your eyes just took place. These are the changes that Joe implemented. Well, let's say Paul has also got some changes need to be made. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. And we can keep editing and editing and editing all we want. Go ahead and save that. We'll go see how Joe's doing over here. And there they are. Okay, let's go back to Paul's ID. And you've already seen quite a few revisions just between the two of us. Imagine if there was half a dozen or more people throwing revisions at this document. You might want to go be able to look at the revision history. We can do that in the Tools menu. Down to Revision History. And here are various revisions that Joe and I have been working on. I think it was about right here where I wanted to look at maybe going back to... No, let's go back to Revision History. Maybe this is the revision that I wanted to, there's what I wanted to go back to, yeah. Let's go back to that state. Let's just revert to this one and verify that that's the one I want to revert to. And that's where I want it to be. Let's go ahead and save that. 
Now there are some other features we don't have time for, but I encourage you to explore all the features of collaborating documents in Google Docs. The same principles apply to spreadsheets and presentations also. Have fun Googling.